Rock 100.5 KATT. My name is Cameron Buckholtz, and I am here with Wolfgang Van Halen. What's going on, man? I'm doing very well. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Yeah, man. Just uh, looking forward to the show tonight. You're at the Criterion opening up for Alter Bridge. And uh, I'd imagine that tour is is going pretty well. It's basically just a, oh, yeah. a family tour, right? Yeah, it is one big happy family. They have been uh, nice enough to to kind of let us tag and tag along for a while now. So uh, it's it's lovely being out with these guys. They're the best. Yeah. I mean, this is what, like your third tour with with Tremonti? If you like... <sighs> many tours with Shivani and then now with 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 Alter Bridge this is our third run oh it's just I've, three mammoth I've, tours with Alter okay yeah 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 we did we did gear up and then we did the first leg of this tour and then now we are on the second leg gotcha man well uh I mean how's it going you're you know you kind of got the sweet spot in a way going on second there and uh, yeah so not, not 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 having to, to worry too much but you know just getting in getting out having a great great time yeah the crowds have been uh super receptive and amazing it's always a, a, a wonderful experience to to be a part of something like that nice and i'd imagine alter bridge and mammoth share a lot of fans uh you know you share a producer you, you know the sounds are, are kind of similar you know in the Absolutely. same same world so uh it, it's probably pretty nice yeah oh it's it's super nice uh the the crowds have been uh so wonderful uh, uh to mammoth that it's it's been a really good time Nice. And you're obviously working on new music or have been working on new music that I, I'm sure we're going to get soon. Uh, what what kind of are you able to tell me about it right now? That. Yes, <laughs> that, it, that, that it may that it may or may not exist. Yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, I, I what on Twitter, I, I, I said a little something that, yeah, you'll you'll be hearing stuff soon. And it's exciting. I'm very excited about it. And, and stylistically, is it is it down the same path or, you know? It's everything I wanted it to be. Uh, oh. you know, I wanted to challenge myself and kind of, of, you know, with with what the first album established, I wanted to kind of challenge uh, what that was and try to uh, evolve the sound while also, you know, uh, just kind of the logical progression of it. So it's I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm proud of what, what we were able to do. Nice. And was this most of the songs, were they written fairly recently or are they, are they older songs that you know, maybe didn't make the cut or weren't ready for the first record or kind of what's Not the really. timeline I, been? I, I think, you know, as a, as a, you know, as a songwriter, you're always just kind of writing ideas that you just kind of have this bank of, of, of ideas that you pull from, but yeah, no, there it's, it's all mostly, uh, you know, recent stuff, you know, some ideas just kind of, you, you know, never find their time. And then, then you come up with one thing later and then boom, there it is. Uh, but yeah, no, this is, it's fresh and uh, exciting and ready to go. <laughs> nice, man. And, going into it, it what what sort of pressure did you feel because you know there's the the sophomore album is always kind of a big thing you know there's the the old adage of of having your whole life to write the first record and you know a yeah. few months to write the second yeah the uh the the slump is certainly something that you want to avoid which you know will be thrown at you either way depending on you know whatever but you know i i think you 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 write music as you know as a musician that that you want to hear and so I, I guess as a fan of the first album, I, I couldn't be happier with the second. I think it's uh, I think it's even better. Awesome, man. Well, we can't wait to hear it. And um, in, in terms of the live show, what, what what's kind of that shaping up to be right now? Because you're in that odd space of of kind of, uh, you know, right before people are going to hear some new stuff. So, I would, I, yeah, that's the thing. I'd, I'd love to to start, uh, you know, getting some of that new stuff out there. But I know my manager. Mm -hmm. uh, would not want me to <laughs> he's like they, they got to hear it first and it's like okay okay so maybe we'll 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 come to a, a happy medium and figure I mean, it out. i mean you don't want the first time somebody hears a song to be a crappy cell phone video from the back of a theater like it's not exactly right. ideal so it no, makes it totally, sense. It totally makes sense but we, we can come close and, and, and figure it out <laughs> but now um just as far as everything else i mean are, are you just what, what's your headspace right now you know, I really haven't had much of a chance to really sit and focus, which maybe is a good thing. <laughs> I think the, the I, I tend to find the more time off I have, the more uh, opportunity I have to kind of fall into a self-destructive, uh, emotional, uh, anxious spiral. Uh, but considering that our next year is looking to be pretty busy, uh, I don't think I have to worry about that. Sure. Just keep moving forward. And uh, yeah, man. And now looking forward, I, I mean, at this point, I think this is the third time that you've played Oklahoma City. Uh, so it, it must be kind of nice to be now you're coming back to markets that people have seen you and, and kind of know what to expect and, and are 
are already fans of the live show. Uh, it, are, yeah, are you are you finding that over the last like two years of being able to go back to places multiple times now? Yeah, it's crazy. I think what we're all starting to see now is that sort of, you know, that that next level of everything that we've been doing for the past two years. And so to see, you know, more more people show up, more people are singing along, more people are are stoked, you know, it, it you know, and we're better. We're a better band. You know, I think, you know, it just the more time you spend, do, you know, it's like that 10,000 hour rule. The more time you do it, just the the, the better you are, no matter what. So it, it's just uh you're really starting to see improvements all around and it's really exciting. Awesome. And as far as um I guess the live show itself, do you guys have any plans of like are you introducing pyro or uh you know, I mean not not necessarily that, but you know what I'm saying? Like do you have any I'd love in your to. Mind I don't of, know if we're if we're at that that budget uh yes you know right now that that's why i always really like when it comes to a mammoth show it's it's all it's all about the performance you know uh, we we got no uh no tapes backing up backing us up the only thing that that we pipe through is just a little intro drone on e before we start the first song uh you know so it's like i think when when you're coming to a mammoth show you can expect just a really good musicianship and just straight up live rock and roll Nice. And that's for sure what's going to be at the criteria. I mean, when you're when you're on a show with Miles Kennedy and Mark Tremonti, it's already kind of a given that the musicianship is going to be at a pretty oh, yeah, astounding they're level. They're, they're keeping us on our toes, but, uh, you know, we're doing it. That's it's it's a really fun uh, tour to be a part of just kind of killing it. They're killing it. So it, it makes us want to kill it. And you obviously don't have to, to name names, but have you been on a tour that that wasn't great yet? I mean, it would be easy to, for people to figure it out, I suppose, because you've only got about two hours to or two years worth of uh, touring. No, but. not not really uh, at all. I think everybody is just kind of their own world. And it's fun to see how how different people operate and, and, and respond to certain things that you might or might not do. It's just kind of uh, everybody deals with. It's just like people, you know, people deal with stuff in different ways. And it's fun to kind of see the inner workings of of. Uh, uh, of everyone and how they do it but yeah no everybody we're, we're very lucky to have had an amazing last two years of touring and we're stoked to just keep doing it and you know you're playing uh some relatively small shows later this year in uh like football stadiums with metallica and pantera so it, it's uh that that's got to be something to look forward to right i mean that's it's pretty wild yeah i don't i don't know if it's so much looking forward to as it is uh uh having a meltdown in my head figuring out how we're going to play in the round because we have never i've never done that in my life yeah so that's going to be a definitely a a trip to try and figure out like you can't really rehearse that until you just you know do that but uh, yeah, can you go f do like a warm up show at like a smaller theater? Like go <laughs> football, just, football stadium. <laughs> well, you know, but I'm just saying in the rounds, like you know, go go find a Shakespeare in the Park sort of in the round stage, and, and <laughs> that's actually that's actually a really good idea. We might need to do that. <laughs> you know, I don't because there's not too many venues that you could do it, but I feel like Shakespeare in the Park is that's usually in the round, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we should figure that out. I don't know, you know, but um, but even just aside from that, doing you know the shows with pantera and metallica have you met the metallica guys before uh, i've met lars and i've uh i've met james uh and they were both very wonderful dudes so it's a it's an honor for them to have asked us to 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 take part uh in such a crazy tour i don't think i've ever known what i was doing two summers from now right uh, but i know that now i am opening for metallica next year next summer which is that's just kind of a crazy thing to yeah wow do you do you know how you sort of got put on their radar as as an option for the tour? Is it do you know if it's like one specific member or if it was Lars? Like you got to check, or, you know what I mean? Like where it came from? You no, know, it it could have been uh, from uh, in London when uh, uh, I played the, the the Taylor Hawkins tribute show. Lars was okay. there too, and gotcha. we met really quick. Like I shook his hand, and he was super mm -hmm. nice. I guess I I don't know. Maybe he was like, oh, Wolf has a band. Let's check him out. And then they just decided to ask us to be part of it, which is crazy. Yeah, man. Well, I think the closest day to us is, is down in Dallas, which is I think is the first weekend that, that you're doing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I well, think is first we're doing we're doing uh, Europe. That's, OK, that's, that's the first bit for the uh, for the U.S. Run. Gotcha. Excited. It's going to be especially a crazy night because it's Arlington, Texas, which is the hometown of Pantera. So it's uh, going to be it's that's gonna be interesting for sure. Yeah. But we'll also see you uh, later on this summer. You're doing Rocklahoma up in Pryor which is uh you know a big deal for us and i'm imagining you've got a lot of those big festivals on your your schedule is yeah, there any 
That's yeah, it's it's looking like it's going to be a very, very busy, exciting year. <laughs> Aside from the Metallica dates, is there anything on the calendar that sticks out to you as like, oh, I'm looking forward to that one or I'm especially dreading that one? There's I'm not, I'm not dreading anything. I'm 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 looking towards everything very excitedly. But uh, uh, there, there's so much that I'm not sure what is announced and what isn't. So I can gotcha. Just, I'm very excited. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Well, uh, awesome. And oh, I, one thing I guess I, I do want to ask you is um, there are some Van Halen reissues coming out on Record Store Day. And I wanted to know if you had anything to do with that uh, right here, right now remaster. Because obviously yeah, you know, Al is obviously he's he's the the head honcho when it comes to making decisions. But, I, mm-hmm. you know, I, I am a part of that when it comes to obviously I default to him on anything that he thinks is the right thing to do with. But when it comes to uh you know decision making or at least just kind of uh helping out yeah i am that sort of uh what would have been my dad's vote for for stuff there with al so al and i are kind of that that team and uh but yeah all in all it's he's 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 the guy <laughs> gotcha well i'm stoked to see that coming out because i feel like uh that yeah, that, that era of- that era doesn't get enough respect i don't i don't think and there's a lot of uh, amazing songs and and just obviously brilliant guitar playing on on, on a lot of that on all of that stuff that mm-hmm. I don't think give a chance because they they fall into that just exhausting this singer is better this thing is better is better crap uh, when it's like you know just give it a chance there's some really good stuff in there <laughs> from indeed my indeed man yeah for sure well uh, you know apologies for having to ask you about that I just sort of you know sort of obligated sure. mammoth is obviously the focus and uh, super stoked. Sure to see you uh to see you tonight and uh looking forward to the new stuff and uh just i very much appreciate the time man thank you so much man it's a pleasure indeed well we'll we'll see you tonight on stage at the criterion i'll see you soon